Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So today marks a very kind of significant date in Malcons of Champions because today we have officially entered the time of rank 5 6 dash. That's right, we do have the very first in the world champions that are being taken up to rank 5 and the first one I believe is obviously from TCN and that is from Magus. His first champion that he chose to rank up has been Scorpion and um, there is a bit of an interesting story that I can tell attached to this entire process as well obviously and the uh, second obviously things that we do need to discuss is the fact that these rank ups are going up before um, the distribution of banquet ranked rewards which obviously will see quite few other people get their initial rank fives and uh, we can also now for a fact judge the power scaling of the six star rank fives because now when we do tap on this uh, beautiful looking scorpion and we open its stats we can see exactly where his base attack and health lies and then we can compare that to rank fours on Aunt May's website, for instance, and then we can figure out what kind of bonus uh, the champions here are getting. So to start off here, I actually had the opportunity to uh, talk with Magus in the morning stream that I had, if you guys want to check it out. Um, it's the last stream that I uploaded. I hadn't been streaming for a couple of days and uh, it just so happened that he popped in the one that I did this morning. And uh, well, a few funny things. <laughs> and then few scary and impressive things and um, then the rest of it well the first thing is that as it turns out obviously this is the result of greater banquet crystals and just to put in perspective of how hard or how much money was spent in order to achieve the rank fives as early as right now and not to have to wait for the rank rewards um, Magus ended up doing a direct bank transfer to Kabam to have the units added to his account just because adding it, uh, you know, Odin by Odin would be too, too slow. So he ended up reaching out to Kabam in their financial department, get their banking information and doing like an actual full on transfer outside of the game. Um, and then, you know, Kabam basically manually added all of the units to his account. Now, I do not know the exact amount there, uh, but you can imagine that it definitely was in five or six digit number there, because if adding in $100 at a time is something you consider too big of a task or an undertaking then it's not because you're adding in 10 odins or 15 odins or something like that it would be something much much more substantial that would actually end up taking him like half a day or a day's full time so uh also obviously he just kind of commented that because doing that kind of let him avoid the any surcharges from the credit uh from the credit card company that he would have ended up using so it was basically much more quicker and effective for him. So that just kind of gives you a scale of the amount of money involved, which is obviously far, far more than I have spent on this game or would be able or willing to spend and, you know, majority of you guys as well. On the flip side, obviously because of the nature, how you acquire rank five, six stars, and there being six class catalysts involved this isn't the only champion that he can currently take up he is also able to rank up a skill class champion which uh, we actually had a poll in the morning stream which uh, um, basically likely is going to turn out to be kingpin most likely if he actually abides by the results of that poll and uh, then um he also apparently is very, very close to a mutant rank up, so we are likely going to see him sporting three rank five, six stars um, in the next couple of days. 
and once the rank rewards actually do get paid out that is the point when we're going to see him with a full profile of rank 5 6 stars because you know he is 100% going to get in that top 30 uh, ranking there and end up with a full profile of rank 4 6 stars so that's kind of like the backstory bit there and uh, a little bit of extra information now if i can get some gameplay footage obviously i'll do my best to do so and uh, show it to you guys how it actually looks like um, but another thing that is quite important is again as i said we can see the scorpion and we can see his attack values and his health values um, without any master interventions so i can see that he clearly isn't running any um, major offensive or greater vitality master is there by the looks of it and the health pool is 45,253, which, um, as we know, Scorpion doesn't have the biggest health pool in the game in itself, but his attack value is quite high. And here we can compare it actually with a rank 4 Scorpion, and we can see that rank 4 Scorpion has 39,106 HP on its base and 3,959 attack on its base. So, if we take that 39,106 and multiply it by 1.15-ish, it's more like 1.16-ish, actually, because it's 45,000. So, let's do it again. 39,106 times 1.16. We end up basically exactly where it ends up so it is just under 16 percent increase in stats which actually is slightly bit more than i thought it would be because after the initial leaks of nova's example as a rank five six star that happened you know about a year ago from now it did look like it will go down from 14 percent increase which is what we are having from rank 3 to 4 it looked like it's going to go down to 12 percent but seemingly kabam has tweaked it a little bit and moved it back up to 16 percent increase in attack and health so that is the difference of a rank 5 uh, 6 star and a rank 4 6 star it's basically 16 percent increase in health and attack and again like with the more recent ranks in the 6 star department the difference isn't that major Again, these rank 5s, rank 4s, they only really come into the play when you're competing with other players. Like, for story content, you know, there's absolutely no problem bringing in a rank 2 6 star in Act 8. You're still going to be doing just fine. And similar in majority of the content. Only when we're talking about stuff like Prestige, Alliance, War and Battlegrounds is where these things really kind of matter. And just because... It is kind of like an obvious, you know, perspective, obviously leg up. So if you have rank 5, 6 star and you're fighting rank 3, 6 stars on the defense, you're going to have a much easier time. Or if you have a rank 5, 6 star as the boss or an alliance or defender, there is going to be, you know, noticeably more decent defense than you could potentially muster up. So I do kind of, I suppose, like that Kabam scaled down 6 star ranking because that makes these rank disparities less intolerable if you are the one fighting as an underdog and uh, at the same time i think you know 16 percent looking at uh, the power differential that is about the same as we had with six star rank two to three and six star rank three to four i believe they were about 16.4 and 14.6 percent respectively so it's basically the same thing here where again it's just a little bit on top that being said obviously you see a rank 5 scorpion in battlegrounds he just banned that stuff immediately and um, as i mentioned before um there is likely going to be a few follow-up rank ups on this account so i can pay attention to that it's also interesting to see his prestige now because his total prestige is 17,276 with the champion prestige being 16,444, relic prestige being 832. Obviously, as for relic prestige, that's also quite an impressive one there, without a doubt. And if I take a look at my own account, 
and then you can see that I am at 16,447 and the Relic Prestige 537, 15.9 base prestige. So obviously, uh, the prestige race is again going to get muddled up a bit, but I would say that that is something that needed to happen because prestige situation has been relatively stale at the first half of 2022 and then kabam just started releasing new and new champions but still uh since it's six out champions and these wailier people always manage to acquire all of the top prestige champions extremely quickly unlocking a new rank plus introducing relics has juggled up that prestige situation quite a bit but yes here we are we do have a new rank five six star uh, on uh, Magus's account, uh, he is again likely going to be able to take up a couple more, pretty much before the rank rewards arrive. So by the time the rank rewards arrive, we're probably going to see a full profile of six star rank fives on this account. I do not know if there's anybody else at the moment around there, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if there are a couple more people in TCN who can rank five six star now. Either way, that's it. That's all I wanted to tell you guys uh, this morning. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did, hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit all the good buttons, and I will catch you guys soon. See ya. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information about the next.